Even in the wake of pussy gazi, Trump still hasn't lost the woman vote. Here she is. Well, let me say this. As a woman, I know there are plenty of women that are supporting Donald Trump for one reason only, because he's not Hillary Clinton. If there's any more obligations to make sure that Hillary Clinton does not get in the White House. In fact, if, if Hillary Clinton would have been honest at the time, maybe we would not have had a 19-year-old in the Oval Office in a blue dress and a cigar. The key about all this is yes. Donald Trump may be vulgar, but Hillary Clinton is a two-faced liar. Scotty, do you need a hug? Because I know a couple of dudes who are giving them out. <laughs> but the saddest guy in the world is God's not-quite-chosen president and number one try-hard Ted Cruz, last seen cold-calling for Trump less than 24 hours before the Friday surprise. Hi, this is Ted Cruz calling. Uh, I was calling to encourage you to come out and vote on election day. Uh, this election is critical for the direction of our country, and I urge you to come out. Thank you, and God bless you. If it's just a soulless human, does it count as a robocall? <laughs> you can tell what Ted is thinking. Why am I persecuted? Oh, I was so looking forward to seeing you in 2020. Bye. Meanwhile, a whole lot of Republicans were grappling with the discovery that their Muslim banning, Mexican insulting, race baiting, disability mocking, alt-right channeling demagogue might not be such a good guy after all. Mike Pence just issuing a statement saying, quote, as a husband and father, I was offended by the words and actions described by Donald Trump. Mitch McConnell is the father of three daughters. I strongly believe that Trump needs to apologize. I'm a father. I'm a son of a very strong woman, a grandson of a strong woman, a husband of a strong woman, and I didn't like hearing that. I'm a father of two girls, a brother of three sisters. I'm the father of a, of a 21 year old daughter, and, and I have a wonderful wife and two, three wonderful sisters. And I'm like everybody else, I'm appalled by the statements. Oh, go fuck yourself. Trump's comments. <laughs> are not wrong because you have female relatives. Guess what? A surprising number of Americans have at least one female relative. Trump's comments were wrong because women are human. And if you hadn't stood cravenly by while he insulted them for a year, you wouldn't be in the pile of elephant shit you're in today. You should have listened to Barbara Bush back in February. I mean, he's said terrible things about women. I'm a woman. I don't know how women can vote for someone who said what he said about Megyn Kelly. It's terrible. Yeah. And we knew what he meant, too. And there's another thing I'll never forgive Donald Trump for, making me watch First Lady Barbara Bush talk about periods. Thanks so much. <laughs> But what about Paul Ryan, the supposed intellect and conscience of the Republican Party? Paul Ryan putting out this statement. He says, quote, I am sickened by what I heard today. Women are to be championed and revered. Oh, and patronized. Don't forget patronized. Hey, everybody. How about it, huh? It is a troubling situation. I'm serious. It is. I put out a statement about this last night. I meant what I said, and it's still how I feel. But that is not what we are here to talk about today. You know what we do here at Fall Fest? We talk about our ideas. Your Fall Fest sounds boring as shit. <laughs> but if you want to talk ideas, how about the idea that your petri dish of a political party allowed America's misogyny and racism to coagulate into a presidential nominee? <laughs> Discuss. Or the idea that you're the last person we wispy little spider webs of womanhood would want to champion us. In the past year, you've condemned Trump's disgusting stance on Muslims, the KKK, Gold Star families, Latino judges, and now women, without ever withdrawing your support for his presidency. You don't have the courage of a single one of your convictions, but you were smart to disinvite Trump from your fall fest. He wouldn't have been able to resist grabbing a pussy like you. <laughs> Champion, allow me to present Republican strategist Anna Navarro. There is a minimum requirement of morality, of moral compass, of decency, of human empathy, of behaving like an adult, of behaving not like a sexual predator. I think that every single Republican is going to have to answer the question, what did you do the day you saw the tape mm. of this man boasting about grabbing exactly. a woman's pussy? That's okay. All right. Will you right. please stop saying that word? My daughter is listening. Yeah, you know what, Scotty? You know what, Scotty? You know what, Scotty? Don't tell me you're offended when I say pussy, but you're not offended when Donald Trump says it. I'm not running for president. He is. Yes. 
And I said, I okay, so like that, don't act outraged yeah, and offended when I say the word that you're not offended by the man who you are supporting is saying. That is I just said absurd. I was offended by him saying that too. We'll be right back. Mm. By the way, Anna's been up for a long time. She had, she, Anna had to go. Sister, you can come take a nap on our beanbag chairs anytime. We're almost looking forward to you and Susanna Martinez defeating Hillary in 2020. At least you'll be an adversary worthy of her. We'll be right back.